Cambridge Movers 8 by University of Cambridge ESOL Examinations in conjunction with Cambridge University Press. This recording is copyright. Hello. This is the Cambridge Movers Practice Listening Test. Test 1. Part 1 Look at Part 1 Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Look! We took a lot of pictures on holiday in the mountains. Oh! Show me. Are you in this picture? No, but my brother Paul is. Look! He's sitting on a rock and reading a comic. Oh, yes. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Who's the girl who's riding the bike? The girl with the long hair? Yes. That's Sally. She's my sister's friend. Two. And can you see my friend? She's wearing an orange jacket. She loves climbing. Yes. Wow. She's at the top of that tree. I know. And what's her name? It's Vicky. <laughs> She's funny. I like her a lot. Three. And who are the people walking behind the dog? You can't see their faces. Oh, the man's name is John. He's got curly hair, like mine. <laughs> oh, yes. Does he live there? No. He and his wife were on holiday, like us. Four. And look at my mum. Where's she? It's difficult to see her. She's waving with both hands. Look, next to the waterfall. Oh, yes. And what's her name? It's Anna. Five. Is that your dad who's fishing on the lake? Yes, his name's Bill. Did he catch any fish? No. But he likes trying. Now listen to part one again. One. Who's the girl who's riding the bike? The girl with the long hair? Yes. That's Sally. She's my sister's friend. Two. And can you see my friend? She's wearing an orange jacket. She loves climbing. Yes. Wow. She's at the top of that tree. I know. And what's her name? It's Vicky. <laughs> She's funny. I like her a lot. Three. And who are the people walking behind the dog? You can't see their faces. Oh, the man's name is John. He's got curly hair, like mine. <laughs> oh, yes. Does he live there? No. He and his wife were on holiday, like us. Four. And look at my mum. Where's she? It's difficult to see her. She's waving with both hands. Look, next to the waterfall. Oh, yes. And what's her name? 
It's Anna. Five. Is that your dad who's fishing on the lake? Yes. His name's Bill. Did he catch any fish? No. But he likes trying. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello. Can you help me? I can't find my school bag. Oh dear. Yes. I put it on the floor and now I can't find it. OK, Jill. I must write this down. Your school bag and you lost it here. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. OK. What colour is your bag? It's black. Black? And was it new? Yes. My grandma bought it for me last week. Two. And where did you lose it? In the classroom? No. It was in the playground. In the playground. And it's not there now? No. Three. And what was inside it? My lunch. That's all. Only your lunch? Yes. Not your books or any pens and pencils? No. They're all on my desk. Four. OK. Now, what's your family name, Jill? It's Bold. Right. Do you spell that B-O-L-D? Yes. B O L D. Five. OK. Now, what class are you in? Class 11. OK. Well, go back to class 11 now, Jill. All right. But can you find my bag, please? Yes, I think we can. But you must be more careful with your things, Jill. I know. Now listen to part two again. One. OK. What colour is your bag? It's black. Black? And was it new? Yes. My grandma bought it for me last week. Two. And where did you lose it? In the classroom? No. It was in the playground. In the playground. And it's not there now? No. Three. And what was inside it? My lunch. That's all. Only your lunch? Yes. Not your books or any pens and pencils? No. They're all on my desk. Four. OK. Now, what's your family name, Jill? It's Bold. Right. Do you spell that B-O-L-D? Yes. B-O-L-D. Five. OK. Now, what class are you in? Class 11. OK. Well, go back to class 11 now, Jill. All right. But can you find my bag, please? Yes. I think we can. But you must be more careful with your things, Jill. I know. That is the end of part two. Part 
Part 3. Look at the pictures. What did Tony do last week? Listen and look. There is one example. Did you have a good week last week, Tony? Yes, I did, Aunt May. On Monday, I played in the garden with Daisy. Who's Daisy? My pet rabbit. She was naughty. She ate Mom's vegetables. Oh, dear. <laughs> Can you see the line from the word Monday? On Monday, Tony played with his naughty rabbit. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Did you go out on Tuesday? No, it rained on Tuesday. We played games on the floor and watched TV. And what did you watch? A film about animals that could talk. They lived in a forest. Two. I enjoyed Thursday more. Why? What did you do on Thursday? We drove down to the beach and went for a walk there. And did you go sailing? No, it was too cold. Three. Mom and I went to the market on Wednesday. What did you buy there? We bought another rabbit, a friend for Daisy. Is the new rabbit naughty, too? No, and she's got big brown and white ears. I love her. Four. What did you do on Friday? We went to the library to choose some new books. And did you find an exciting story to read? Yes, I found a story about a family who go on holiday to the beach. And what do they do there? They find some treasure. Five. And we went to the beach again on Saturday. Oh no, it was Sunday. Sorry. Was the weather good? Yes, it was nice that day and we went sailing. Great. Yes, it was an exciting day. I enjoyed it. Now listen to part three again. One. Did you go out on Tuesday? No, it rained on Tuesday. We played games on the floor and watched TV. And what did you watch? A film about animals that could talk. They lived in a forest. Two. I enjoyed Thursday more. Why? What did you do on Thursday? We drove down to the beach and went for a walk there. And did you go sailing? No, it was too cold. Three. Mom and I went to the market on Wednesday. What did you buy there? We bought another rabbit, a friend for Daisy. Is the new rabbit naughty too? No, and she's got big brown and white ears. I love her. Four. What did you do on Friday? We went to the library to choose some new books. And did you find an exciting story to read? Yes, I found a story about a family who go on holiday to the beach. And what do they do there? They find some treasure. Five. And we went to the beach again on Saturday. Oh no, it was Sunday. Sorry. Was the weather good? Yes, it was nice that day and we went sailing. Great. Yes, it was an exciting day. I enjoyed it. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. What's Lucy's father doing? Where's Dad, Mom? Is he cooking dinner? No, Lucy. 
I think he's watching a DVD. But he's not in the living room. Look, he's cleaning his motorbike. Oh, yes. Thanks. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Where's the new bird cage? Where's the new bird cage? I want to put it in my bedroom. Is it in the garden? No, it's out on the balcony, Sam. I put it there this morning. Can I go and get it? Yes, but carry it very carefully. Two. How did Peter go to work today? Peter started work in the city today. Did he? Yes. He drove there in his car, but it was very slow. Oh. Yes. It's easier and quicker to catch a bus or go on the train. Three. Which is Tom's favorite sport? Did you go skating again yesterday, Tom? No. I don't like that now. I played table tennis. And do you like table tennis best now? Hmm. I think basketball is better. That's my favorite. Four. What did May buy in the shop today? I bought this new coat today in town. Did you, May? But you wanted a skirt. You told me this morning. <laughs> I know, but I saw this and I loved it. It's grey, like my favourite sweater. Okay. Five. Where's Sally's grandma? Where's grandma, Dad? Did she go for a walk with the dog? No, Sally. She went to bed because she's got a headache. Oh dear. Is she okay? Oh yes. Go and make her a cup of tea. All right. Now listen to part four again. One. Where's the new bird cage? Where's the new bird cage? I want to put it in my bedroom. Is it in the garden? No. It's out on the balcony, Sam. I put it there this morning. Can I go and get it? Yes, but carry it very carefully. Two. How did Peter go to work today? Peter started work in the city today. Did he? Yes. He drove there in his car, but it was very slow. Oh. Yes. It's easier and quicker to catch a bus. Or go on the train. Three. Which is Tom's favorite sport? Did you go skating again yesterday, Tom? No, I don't like that now. I played table tennis. And do you like table tennis best now? Hmm. I think basketball is better. That's my favorite. Four. What did May buy in the shop today? I bought this new coat today in town. Did you, May? But you wanted a skirt. You told me this morning. <laughs> I know, but I saw this and I loved it. It's grey, like my favourite sweater. Okay. Five. Where's Sally's grandma? Where's grandma, Dad? Did she go for a walk with the dog? No, Sally. She went to bed because she's got a headache. Oh dear. Is she okay? Oh yes. Go and make her a cup of tea. All right. That is the end of part four. Part five. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Would you like to color this picture now? Look, a man is painting. 
Oh, yes, he's got a funny beard. Can I color it? Yes, good idea. Color his beard red, please. All right. Can you see the man's red beard? This is an example. Now you listen and color and write. One. Can you see the man's scarf? The one on the stairs? Yes. Shall I color that too? Yes. How about purple? That's a good color for a scarf. Okay. Thanks. Two. His room's got two windows. Yes. Find the flowers in the round window. In the round window. Oh, yes, I can see it. Well done. Color those flowers pink, please. All right. I'm doing that now. Three. Now, can you write something on this picture too? Yes. Good. Can you see the box on the floor? It's open. Yes, it has bird on it. That's right. Please write food under bird. Bird food. All right. Four. I love the parrot. Can it talk? I don't know, but let's color its tail. <sighs> okay, how about green? Hmm, yes, that's the right color for a parrot's tail. Five. Now, the glass on the table. Color that, please. The one with the water in it? Yes. Can you color that glass blue? Yes. There. Well done. It looks great. Thank you. Now listen to part five again. One. Can you see the man's scarf? The one on the stairs? Yes. Shall I color that too? Yes. How about purple? That's a good color for a scarf. Okay. Thanks. Two. His room's got two windows. Yes. Find the flowers in the round window. In the round window. Oh, yes, I can see it. Well done. Color those flowers pink, please. All right. I'm doing that now. Three. Now, can you write something on this picture too? Yes. Good. Can you see the box on the floor? It's open. Yes, it has bird on it. That's right. Please write food under bird. Bird food. All right. Four. I love the parrot. Can it talk? I don't know, but let's color its tail. <sighs> okay, how about green? Hmm, yes, that's the right color for a parrot's tail. Five. 
five. Now the glass on the table. Color that, please. The one with the water in it. Yes. Can you color that glass blue? Yes. There. Well done. It looks great. Thank you. That is the end of the movers' practice listening test one.